Hi everybody. Today is January the 30th. It is Monday. And I like Monday. Monday is my favorite day of the week because it's the first opportunity you have to make this week the best week you've ever had. And I wholeheartedly believe that. Today was chest, shoulders, and triceps. Week 7. Day 1. And, uh, boy, did I feel good. The first, uh, the first day that I did this exercise, chest, shoulders, and triceps, or any time you reset after four weeks of or three weeks of one thing a break and then move into the next set of moves it's always super hard always extra challenging so your numbers are kinda of short and then today uh, last week was when I hurt my hand and I had a great workout but it was frustrating because I, I knew I knew it could be better I just knew that it could and today I feel great, probably 90%, if not more. And I, I got on it. Um, I had a busy weekend. Uh, I, I meant to put up a video on Friday, it just couldn't happen. Uh, so today, I'm, I won't even talk about last week, because why not? Today was good. Um, as I was doing the workout today, and I was really able to go at it the way that I wanted to go at it, well, most of you know I do. Uh, superset stuff on my arms, back and biceps kind of stuff. I've honestly I've been incorporating that mentality into every single move, and I'll give you some examples for today while I talk about what I was thinking about as I was doing. Uh, things happen, and I just I, I read groups of things at different places and when they all kind of meet at a point I tend to listen and for the past few days even back as far as last week I've been reading about time under tension or TUT or tut or toot depending on who's saying it I'll say tut because toot uh, I just can't get down with that uh, time under tension is when you make your muscles stronger. I guess the idea is even if you talk to people who lift weights like bench press and things like that and like big giant gorilla men, don't utilize time under tension. They use a very explosive way of moving weight so they get high heavy weight and they push it up as fast as they can and they repeat until they're done. Time under tension is when you really dominate the weight and you do things very very slowly much like you do in the workout that I did today from P90X where he has you do a bunch of push-ups on four count and it's challenging. I've always, always had difficulty with it. Subsequently, my numbers would always, always be very low. He starts off, first move is three different push-ups, wide, standard, and military style, at a four count, for four, four reps at a four count. Ever since I've ever started doing the workout, by the time I do the first one by number four, I, my arms are shaking and quivering. Like I find it very, very difficult to do. And it's progressively gotten better, but it's still super uber challenging. And then the, the, the coup de gras or whatever the, is that at the end of that, he just has you go max push-ups at normal whatever you got speed. And by that time... Ain't nothing. Nothing. So the modifications that I've made in this workout all kind of stem around the fact that we need to move slow and I want to do more. 
So what I do is I do the slow push-ups from my knees. I attempt them uh, standard, as many as I can do. And then I move to my knees. And I do that for all of the slow ones. And what that allows me to do is I still get a great burn. I still get a pump. I still get lactic acid built up in the pecs and the shoulders and triceps and biceps. But when it's time to go fast, I go back to standard push-ups and it allows me to do more, to work more, to stack heavier and heavier. And I do it for every single one. Every time I get tired uh, doing standard push-ups, I fall on my knees and I do it until I cannot do it. Before, I think I would just do it until I couldn't do it. But now I've added kind of a next fold to that. I do it until I can't do it standard, and then I do it until I can't do it from my knees. And man, what a pump that is. Um, as far as the, the triceps go, the only real modification that I make is I don't do side try rise I do chair chair dips twice in a row taking a you know because that that move is long and I just don't care for that move I don't like I don't feel like I engage the tricep as much as I can so I do I do I do the chair tricep chair dips because they, it gives you like three minutes on that move I do them. I take a rest while they're racking out a million or whatever they're doing, and then I, I, you know, catch a water, catch my breath, reset, and then I do it again. Other than that, that's really the only modifications I make to this workout. Uh, but just stressing that time under tension makes your muscles stronger. So when you're fighting that last rep. I and mean, when he talks about the last three reps should be hard or close to impossible, like he means it, like that's when you're going to get stronger. That's when the dumbbell that you're lifting is going to get lighter. <laughs> as far as seeing muscles pop out, like I said, the heavier weight at a faster motion is what's going to make the muscles appear to be larger. And, you know, I added pro. This is uh, protein, uh, whey protein, and we remember what happened with the whey. I'm afraid that I'm not getting enough protein, and uh, I just wanted to add it in. I probably, I don't know. This isn't a, a fancy protein. It's really, really cheap stuff. But it's got 22 grams. I really don't want to add in the calories, but like I said, I don't want uh, I don't want to risk not having the protein in a day. And it kind of it's gonna allow me to mix up food options later. And I think that's all I really have. Um, I will probably scoop in this protein in my morning shake. Uh, my morning shake is the highlight of my day. Uh, there's cool stuff in it. Uh, and Kaz gave me an. I think it was Kaz. Um, told me to add parsley into it for added energy. And I did that. And I did it for a, a week straight. Uh, five, five days. Straight. And then I ran out and I never replaced it. So I had it for a week without it and I don't know if there's energy in parsley but what I will say is in my shake I'd much rather have it in there than to not have it in there because it's delicious you will say it you will say my end thing you know what I say at the end of my videos come up here and say it you gotta give them the big old peace sign too it's 513 kid wiggle